everyone welcome back to hotline topics these are the things that you never knew about the popular pastor taiwo udukoya who sadly passed on on 7th of august this year his demise came as a road shock to many of us uh, his full name was daniel taiwo udukoya he was the pastor of the fountain of life church at ilupeju in lagos state he was their senior pastor and the church had a membership strength of over 8,000 people it was one of 15th of June in 1956 in the city of Kaduna, so that makes him 67 years old. He had this primary school education at Kaduna, at the Baptist Primary School in Kigo Road in Kaduna, and then he proceeded to St. Paul's College, now known as Kofina College in Wusasa in Zaria. And then he proceeded to the University of Ibadan in 1976, where he obtained a degree in petroleum engineering in 1981. So as a petroleum engineer, he started work at the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation in April 1982 after the compulsory one-year National Youth Service course came. And then he served there until his voluntary retirement in January 1994 after his call to the ministry. So that's a little bit about his early life. As regards his church, himself and the late wife Bimbo Dukoya co-founded the Fountain of Light Church in 1992 with a stated vision to teach men and women the art of building successful relationships and the principles of leadership so that uh, they can be who they are created to be. The church has several missions in South Africa, the United Kingdom, United States, Switzerland, Kenya, Equatorial Guinea, Republic of Benin, Cote d'Ivoire, and Togo. As regards his personal life, in 1980, this was when he met Bimbo Williams at the University of Ibado, and the two struck up a relationship that led to their marriage in 1984. That marriage produced three children, but then sadly on 10th of December 2005, Bimbo Dukoya, along with one or two other people, died on the crashed Sosoliso Airlines flight 1145. Bimbo's messages had been well and widely received by many people. On 5th of January 2010, five years later, Taiwo Dukoya then got married again to Rosemary Simange Ozulu from South Africa. That marriage produced two boys. In November 2021, Udukaya then sadly again lost a second wife to cancer. The pastor announced the date of his wife on 9th of November, saying that the South African battled cancer for the better part of two years. A lot of people have been asking the question, what really happened and what caused the sudden demise of the highly revered cleric? Well, a source close to the family said that he uh, really didn't get over the losses he suffered. Though he tried to be strong, but then there's a limit to what a man can take. And they then added that uh, you would recall that his first wife, charismatic televangelist and preacher, Pastor Bimbo Dukoya, died in a Sosoliso plane crash in 2005 at the age of 45. The death left the pastor who shared a well-known synergy with a former wife, whom he met at the University of Ibadan, as earlier mentioned, as an undergraduate, totally shattered. Pastor was more devastated by what people said after Pastor Bimbo died than what actually happened. Many people said nasty things that sadly his heart. He was touched by the savagery of the comments. But he had no choice and decided to move on despite the heartbreak. It took a lot of talking for him to decide to be married. And then on November 9, 2021, death came again knocking on his door and this time around he took the second wife, Pastor Nomti, South African. Nomti passed on at the age of 47. If Pastor Bimbo's death was shattering, Pastor Nomti's demise was a technical knockout. It knocked Pastor down and out. It was inconsolable. There was nothing we could tell him. It took something deep out of him and some of us became afraid for him. When he lost his twin sister a few weeks after the death of his second wife, sources say that it was more or less the last straw. It was a personal, humbling tragedy. He would just gaze and seem to be completely disinterested in things around him. I believe something died in him at that point. That was what uh, was revealed. They also added that the health challenges started showing up and they knocked him off and necessitating overseas medical trips from which he never recovered. As to Dukoya's legacy is immense, for years he stood at the forefront of Nigerians' evangelical movement, sharing messages of hope, love and redemption. His influence extended beyond the pulpit as he was deeply involved in various community upliftment programs, emphasizing education, health care and empowerment. This great man of God, his final message was about a beacon of hope. He delivered this message just days before he left for the USA. And his final sermon was one that showcased his undying commitments to the gospel and his unmatched ability to inspire. 
even in his frail state, radiated a serene strength. Follow Simon was not just a message for his congregation, but for the world at large. In his gentle wisdom, he reminded us of the enduring power of faith, the importance of community, and the eternal love of God. It was revealed that his life was a testament to his teachings, that he lived by the principles he preached, dedicating himself to the service of others, and always prioritizing his relationship with God. Spartan then left a void that would be hard to fill. But then his legacy, his teachings, and his indomitable spirit will continue to inspire generations to come. As though Taiwo Udukoya may have departed from this earthly realm, but his messages of hope, love, and faith will forever resonate in the hearts of those who had the privilege to hear him speak and be touched by his divine wisdom. In 2014, nine years after the demise of his first wife, he addressed the matter of the plane crash that made him a widower. He claimed that pastors are well advised to use private jets. Such aircraft better facilitate pastoral ministry and are a safer means of travel than commercial flights. Uh, we all know that a lot of pastors have been chastised as, as well for using private jets. But then this man is of the opinion that it is better after losing a steel woman. It is after many years and the intervention of many people that uh, Pastor Tawu Dukoya then got married again to the late Nom team. So months before his demise, he shared the message on eternity. And these words were, I concluded a long time ago that the whole of life is like a drop in the ocean. Take the ocean to mean eternity. Now compare one drop of water to the ocean. Don't mess up the sea because of one drop. You say, what do you mean? Life is what you have. To decide the kind of eternity you have. Every man and every woman has an opportunity. Jesus lived only take three years. We two still have lived 969 years. And whilst we still have this breath in our nostrils and walk the face of the earth, we have the best opportunity to define our tomorrow. Don't be deceived by lies, envy and jealousy. I mean, stay focused. Run the race so that when you leave, heaven will never forget. Heaven will be glad to receive you. It will never forget. So whether in life or death, you're preaching, you're teaching, you're encouraging, you're edifying, you're helping people for the great beyond. This was part of the message I shared on eternity some months before he passed on. So this is the little we can share about Pastor Taiwo Udukoy as time won't permit us to share more. And we have come to the end of this episode. We pray that may the soul of the departed continue to rest in peace.